Without this, you will struggle to live a fulfilled life. And with this, you'll be able to live a life where you'll be able to love your partner, your family and your kids. What am I talking about here, guys? I'm talking about self-love. Does that resonate with you? Is there something we do often, especially mums? Once we've given birth to a couple of kids, or even one child, we very much, most of us, forget how to self-love. Uh, even before that, it depends on really how you've been brought up. You know, if you've been told all your life that you're not worth it, you then kind of grow up thinking that you don't deserve any love. The really important thing here is that if you don't love yourself, you will never be able to love your partner, your kids fully. And it is not being selfish to love yourself. Let me give you a couple of examples. You see, most of the mums feel guilty when they do something for themselves. That's the belief that we have. Like, no, I can't spend this on myself or I can't use this time to do something for me because my son needs me or my daughter needs me. And I often do that sometimes. However, if you have a better planning in your day and then you have planned the time with your kids and you've planned the time with your family and also plan some time for yourself, you eliminate that guilty feeling out of that. But many of us really feel guilty. Why do you think that is, guys? Why do you feel guilty when you spend time, money, effort on you as a mother? I'm here to tell you that that's completely not true, that we mustn't feel guilty, that we are not being selfish if we spend time on ourselves. Here's an example. If you're in a plane and the oxygen mask drops down, what are you going to do first? Your first instinct is to put the oxygen mask on your kids if you're sat there with your family before putting on yourself, okay? However, if you were to do that, you will not be around to put the mask on anyone else because you've kind of saved your kids, but you're not there. And what's happening here is they need you. So when the oxygen mask drops down and you put the mask on yourself first, what happens is that now you're in a good place to now help others to do more and to have help others to live. So that's an example of something that we really take it quite lightly. You know, we don't quite explore that further. So think about what things if you did to yourself would make you a better person, then that will then have that knock on effect in helping your kids or your partner. An example of that could be if you are really stressed out, we are stressed about going to work, coming back, picking our kids up from school, and what you're doing in the process is trying to survive and thrive. So you are literally bickering with your kids, shouting for them to come down to have dinner, shouting at them when they've asked you a question, having a poor relationship with your other half, and you literally haven't got time for anyone in there. So your whole day is very much of a five out of 10 in terms of uh, productivity, and more than that, and how have you been feeling throughout the day? Now, if you were to put in planning in place, if you were to take some of the stressful factors out of your life and sort yourself out first, you will be then able to help others in much better manner. This example of removing the stress from your life is an example of self-love because if you are in distress, if you are not coping, then you need to stop. You need to stop and think, what is it that I'm doing that's causing all of these issues in my life? I need to stop and think and address. Stop, think, address move forward, be kind to yourself in order to do that. Stop, think, why am I feeling like my heartbeat is always so high? Why am I so tense? Why am I so anxious? Why am I so unhappy? Because once you've got used to those feelings, we are very good at adapting and we just carry on and we look back, 10 years have gone, We've got two kids, you know, and you have not had a chance to do anything for yourself because you are in such a state with bringing up the, the kids and the family. So it's really important to address that. You know, if you are listening to this video today, I want you to just have a really deep look into your life and think of where you're at in terms of self-love. Have you given yourself any self-love? It's not something you can buy in the supermarket, I'm afraid. It's not a shot that you can take, um, unfortunately. It's not a, a another gadget that you can buy. This is something you've got to create yourself and some of us are going to be fortunate mums that have actually come from a place where we have been taught self-love it's again this is a skill that needs to be taught and some of us 
us have come from a place where we haven't been taught self-love. However, we're now in adult stage where we can teach ourselves anything that we want to. First thing is to recognize what the issue is and how can you take away some of those things that are causing you to not give yourself enough self-love.